Hi, listen, uh, I'm Vic, is what most people call me, Vic Riccardi, and um, since about February 1972, I've been uh, focusing on neurofibromatosis in terms of what I wanted to do when I grow up, and uh, by golly, I think I've grown up a bit, and so is neurofibromatosis. It used to be a pretty lonely place, but now there are literally hundreds of people who are attaching themselves to this disorder, to this gene, and what that translates to is the outlook for people who have neurofibromatosis or, at, or are, are at risk for neurofibromatosis. It's a much more rosy outlook than it was in 1972 when I first started. All right, and so where has your research come from and where is it going now? Actually, the, the question about where my research has gone from the early stages, today was one of the most gratifying uh, sessions I have ever been in since in the early 1980s and particularly in the mid-1980s, I proposed that uh, the mast cell was the key to neurofibroma development and progression. And to see today in this morning's sessions, to see the tremendous influence on the mast cell specifically as a contributor to uh, neurofibroma development and progression was heartwarming for me personally and must be so encouraging to the uh, thousands of people with neurofibromatosis. Now this is a very personally uh, gratifying uh, morning. It really was. And how does, with with the advancement of the research with, with mast cells specifically, is that a key, is that a step, is, where is that, do you think? Well, the, the question as to whether or not this is going to translate into something for treatment, I think so. It was actually back in the, in the mid-80s that we published the first efforts to treat the mast cell as part of treating neurofibromas. It was an early preliminary step, it worked, but it's taken a while for people of other persuasions, that is the bench researchers, to get their hands on it, their teeth into it. So I think now those teeth and those hands are producing uh, information and data that, uh, that say, ladies and gentlemen, it's around the corner. Outstanding. Thank you, Dr. Vic Riccardi.